Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is a behind the scenes shoot of the R34 GTR video that I've done. Um, it's a night shoot and I'll be taking you along on the GoPro. Um, I'll be strapping it to my chest for when I'm like out filming and then getting shots inside the transporter that will be taking me around so that I can film the car and then I'm going to try and get like a POV of inside the GTR whilst it's going through like the tunnels and stuff like that and it shoots flames so I will try add that into this video as well from my camera um, yeah I'm really excited for this shoot I've been looking forward to it for such a long time I've planned it thoroughly like each individual little shot so yeah I'm uh, really looking forward to it and I've just seen my new business cars as well so they've literally arrived so I've got these ones for the automotive Look pretty cool actually to be honest don't know how well you can see that it focuses um, so yeah I'll be taking you along with me and I hope I get decent enough footage to be able to put it together in a video anyway you'll be able to see by the length of this one so yeah I hope you enjoyed today's video because I'm really looking forward to it and I will see you at the first location bye yeah so I'm doing a voiceover for this because it was really difficult for me to film and talk at the same time especially when I was trying to concentrate on getting the shots uh, out of the back of the transporter yeah just circle around so that there's no like speed bumps that we can go over so here we are in B&Q car park of all places trying to get the first sort of trial shots just to kind of see what it looks like on camera and what my settings need to be and stuff like that just before we actually got on the road to do the first drive I'll add that into the next one and I'll just put it as like raw sound so you can kind of hear exactly what it sounds like and the footage as well I'll just keep all that raw Yeah, once you've come around here, go back into the car park and we'll stop. Yeah, just anywhere here. So we tried it one last time just to double check um, because I like to do things twice just, just to make sure. Ignore how orange it looks. It's because I exposed and set the white balance for the lighting that we was going into. Um, because it was such a different contrast I wanted to get it ready so that I wasn't fiddling around with any other settings hence why the colour looks as it is or it might just look really blue <laughs> we'll see so I'm just about to add in the full raw footage of us after we left B&Q and headed onto the dual carriageway you can kind of compare and see what I did include in the main video and what I didn't to be fair it all came out really nice but I just had to obviously cut bits down because it would have been way too long so enjoy
idea. So I have to apologise because it has been quite difficult to do the behind the scenes because I don't think I have my chest strap with me. So I'm just going to kind of wing it. I'll ask them to film me and stuff, but we've just done a couple of the tunnel runs, which I'll include. And we got threatened as well, which is sick. <laughs> Somebody says uh, that they're going to glass the car. So that's quite nice of a minute. So yeah, we're just heading over to the next little bit now. Um, and I'm going to get the tunnel run, the second shot of it. sounded mad. Uh... <laughs> Just look how good it looks from the back. It's not properly showing it from the GoPro footage, but this area was really well lit and it was like perfect from the 4K footage that I was recording in. I was recording at 30 frames per second as to why there's no full slow-mo cinematics in the final version, because when I was filming at 120, I did a little bit of a test and it was just too dark without bumping the ISO really high, making it really grainy. So yeah, that's kind of why it looks sort of shaky and sort of not as cinematic i did try to move really slowly though however when i was filming in 4k but it's just so difficult so for the last part i'm putting together a little compilation of all the listenable clips and make sure you're looking out for one of the clips where you can see the police yeah that was a bit eventful and unfortunately the gopro footage from inside the cabin didn't want to work so yeah i unfortunately won't be able to include that but yeah just enjoy the other clips and i hope you enjoyed watching this video let's get on with it Yeah. 